What is a dead weight tester? Dead weight testers is the basic primary standard for accurate measurement of pressure. It is a device that calibrates pressure by calculating the weight of force divided by the area over which the force is applied. What is the working principle of dead weight tester? Dead weight tester is based on the principle of Pascal's law. The law states that in a closed system of incompressible fluid, the pressure applied will exert equal amount of force in all the directions. What is the use of dead weight tester? A dead weight tester is a calibration standard used to calibrate pressure measurement devices using the idea of a pressure balance. Dead weight testers are an easy and affordable way to evaluate a variety of pressure calibrations by applying known pressures to a device under test using calibrated weights. Why it is called dead weight tester? Dead weight testers are so named because they use dead weights to determine pressures in a closed and compressed fluid system. How accurate is a dead weight tester? Even at its lower ranges, the dead weight tester output is often highly accurate. Industrial dead weights with accuracy of 0.015% of reading are available. What is the difference between a dead weight tester and a gauge comparator? Dead weight tester is used for calibrating a test gauge. It works on the hydraulic principle, whereas test gauge is compared with the standard dead weights and dead weight tester. Gauge comparator is used for calibrating a pressure gauge against a test gauge. The calibration process is quick and easy. How is pressure gauge calibrated using dead weight tester? To calibrate a pressure gauge using dead weight tester assembly requires the following steps for a precise calibration. The calibration procedure consists of the following steps. 1. Making the arrangements is the very first step of the entire process. Before you begin calibrating pressure gauges, make sure the device is at a uniform level. The workbench should be stable for proper operation. After that, connect the pressure gauge to the test port. 2. Fixing the zero error is advisable to confirm zero reading on the pressure gauge. If this is not done, then the gauge might get calibrated with some zero error still present. 3. The actual calibration begins with the placement of the weight. Choose a reference weight and place it on the dead weight tester assembly's vertical piston. 4. In addition to the vertical piston, there is also a horizontal piston. This piston's handle should be turned. Continue doing this until the piston and the weight are supported by oil freely. Turn the vertical piston at this point so that it begins to float freely. 5. Wait a while for the system to stabilize. It's now appropriate to record the gauge and weight readings once the system has fully stabilized. 6. Proceed applying pressure after steps 3 through 5. Keep on going until the maximum pressure is reached. Keep going reducing the weights one by one until the gauge pressure reaches zero. Examine the gauge pressure reading for any errors. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA